Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna look at two distance drivers, the Crank SS and the Crank. The Crank and the Crank SS are both 13 speed drivers, so I'm gonna look at them head to head and let's see what's the difference between the two. Here we go. All right, first up is the Crank SS. The numbers on the Crank SS are 13, 5, negative 3, and 2. All right, in this first set of shots here, I had a pretty stiff tailwind, so that's gonna make the disc a little bit more stable than normal. So you're gonna notice that you don't really notice the negative 3 turn quite as much on these drives, but you can notice that it does have a nice straight flight before it hyzers out at the end. Whether or not you can notice that negative turn or not, one thing I did notice off the get-go is this disc goes far, man. And it's pretty controllable for a 13-speed disc. Now in this direction, I had a tiny bit of a headwind and you really notice the negative turn on it. And if I got the angle just right, I'd get some nice big S-curve shots. This disc bombed, really went far. Man, it really impressed me. This disc performed very well on a sidearm shot too, handled a lot of torque, flipped up a little bit, gave you a nice hyzer end to it. All right, to sum up the Crank SS, I gotta say, I haven't thrown a 13 speed driver like this before that was really easy to handle and easy to control. This thing went far. I was setting up targets that are about 375, 400 feet away, and this thing was getting there no problem and even flying past the basket too. I think you slower and medium arm speed people are going to really enjoy this disc. It goes far, flips up, it goes for days. Check it out. All right, now we're going to look at the crank. The numbers on the crank are 13, 5, negative 2, and 2. In these first shots, I did have a little bit of a tailwind, so you're going to notice that it really stabled this disc up. Pretty much flew like a distance driver that had a 0, 3 number on it but that's to be expected with a tailwind. Tailwinds do stable discs up. Now in these throws, I had a little bit of a headwind and that's where I really noticed the stability of this disc. It really started to make me realize that this would be a great complement to the Crank SS. Now I really like this disc on a sidearm. With that extra stability, it really could handle the torque held that hyzer line the whole way, gives you some nice flare skips too, and it just felt really good, especially for a 13 speed disc. Now to sum up the crank, this disc is pretty stable, but in a headwind, this thing is very usable and controllable too. I feel like this would be a great complement to somebody with my arm speed who really enjoys throwing the crank SS, but once you experience a headwind, you need some more stability pull out this crank. Hey, you can't go wrong with this pair. Crank SS, crank. Crank SS performs like a nice bead-in distance driver. The crank performs like a nice long distance driver. Put these both in your bag and you can handle just about any long distance situation. Thanks for tuning in guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. I've got two more videos coming up. I've got one where I'm gonna take a look at the Big Z Force and I've got another one where I'm gonna take a look at the heat. Peace out. Head on over to throwanotherround.com. Another Round's got such a great selection of discs. They got just about anything you can imagine. They also have some cool apparel and some really cool custom stamp options you can add to any disc. Also, if you're in the Denver, Colorado or Charlotte, North Carolina area, stop on over to the store in person, have a beer, grab a disc. It's a good time. Thanks to Another Round Disc Golf for making this video possible. <laughs>